there's something weird and wonderful taking root in Seattle's Maple Leaf neighborhood. It's an obsession. Welcome to the land of the giants. Every year you want to beat your last weight. It all started a couple of years ago. This was our pandemic pumpkin project. Next door neighbors Brooke Edinger and Carl Pauly got hold of a couple champion seeds and set out to grow their own jack-o'-lanterns. But things got out of hand. The first one I grew hit uh, 684 pounds, uh, which isn't too bad for the front of your yard in Seattle. Brooke's first gourd went 221. Then last year, she nearly doubled that. I took the second year off uh, and Brooke is still growing. I was actually like really jealous. But that's not to say it's a competition. <laughs> Everyone asks <We're> that. Like, <laughs> I feel like we're more partners than rivals because we help each other. It takes a village to raise a giant. You can't leave them alone. Yeah. They're babies. When one family is out of town, the other tends to their crop. After all, these big babies require constant attention. There's planting and pollinating and pruning. Not to mention tucking in at bedtime. Lullaby. There's a sleeping bag that I put mine under. Night, Magnus. The result is an autumnal attraction. We put it on Google Maps and then people started following and taking pictures and they really liked it. If you're passing through Maple Leaf, be sure to say hello to the farmers with the smallest gardens and the biggest crops. It gets you outside. You get to talking to everybody. It's an instant icebreaker. Grow a plant, meet your neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>